Greg Vaughn in the studio, and it is is the World Championship Ranch Rodeo Update with the WRCA folks, as as we always do every week. Lehman Wall and Casey Hooper in studio. Good morning. Did you make it over to uh, Colorado for this last one? We did. We took the whole family, didn't did we, you Casey? really? The whole- Stepfathers and all. Wait, the WRCA family or real family? Like no. family, bro. <laughs> Like, cause it, it totally, see. it totally changes the story. <laughs> no, the ones we see the most, the WRCA family. How well attended or, yeah, they, or is, they've it, got is it always good, a big one? It's a small town. Yeah. It goes not that big of a community and uh, pretty wide open country up there. If you've never traveled through there, it's really pretty country. And, but they just, people come out from everywhere and they've, they've got great attendance and had a really good rodeo. How many teams do y'all have out there? 14. 14, 14, 14 yeah. and, and any one of the 14 could win the world championship yeah. at any given time. The, the winner from last week, the the Land Hill, the Sand Hill, I mean, Sand Hill Cattle Company, weren't they talking about, we had Trip on the phone, was he talking about going back out there? Mm-hmm. So how'd they, they do? Out there. They, they ended up, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, ended up sixth. Still not too bad then, because he was talking about putting some of the younger guys out there, hadn't done it much and all that. So Well, D. Ole's the youngest guy probably on the team. Yeah. Other he actually rode the snot out of some pretty rank broncs. <laughs> um, kudos to Wade Kramer, That's Y6 cool. Livestock out of Hyenas, Nebraska. He come locked and loaded with the Bronx. So who ended up on uh, who ended up on top throughout the? You got the official standings over there. You bet. Yeah, let's run through it a little bit. Um, we'll start it with third place. Third place overall. At the Colorado Championship Ranch Rodeo was the ranch combination of J.O.D. Brown Mill, actually a Colorado-based uh, operation. They they really had a nice rodeo, but the the ones the two above them just kind of edged them out right. on a few things. But J.O.D. Brown Mill, great gump, bunch of guys, and uh, had a good rodeo. Just could not get over that hump to to get in the top uh, spot. But second place was a Texas team. Detweiler Cattle Company and Heck Cattle Company out of Clarendon and Childress. And then our, our first place team out of Colorado Championship that gets that nod to the World Championship is Lonesome Pine out of Cedar Point, Kansas. And if, if anybody's kind of been a, a follower of the World Championships, you you know that Lonesome Pine is always a competitor, always a contender. And here in a little bit, we're going to get to talk to Bud Higgs. He's the the manager, owner, and um, he's got a combination of, of two of his children are on the, the ranch card, Troy and Mackenzie, and then his dad also, Frank, uh, participates on, oh, wow. that, on that ranch card, Great. and then they wrap, wrap up with Travis Duncan and Paul Osgood uh, th- that make up the card. Now, they're in, where, where at in Kansas? Say, Cedar Point. Cedar Point. So, yeah. should we ask Bud why they're not like, like Lonesome Cedar Ranch? <laughs> 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 I never thought of that, Casey. <laughs> well, I, I want to stand corrected. Fifth place was Snyder Wolf Oak, and sixth place was Chris Stone. And, and well, let's say Sand Hill was after that. Let's say that. I'm not, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to just say after that. I would, I'm just going to clear that up and, and, and be okay. But they've already qualified, so yeah. hey, they had yeah. fun and tuned up and got some practice. Yeah, I was just kind of curious. I know, I know we talked about this in the past. Some of these guys will do more than one rodeo, and I know we had just talked to him last week, and he said that they were going to go mm-hmm. out to this one. So I was kind of just kind of curious about how they. I uh, wonder how hard you take it, or how uh, you know how you uh, how hard you go at it for that rodeo if you're already qualified. Or well, when you put money up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it makes it does change the game, doesn't it? Right, and so they're going to do whatever <laughs> yeah. they can. Yeah, to like win to have that, that back. Yeah, in Casey, you could kind of see. And trip size, he he was having fun. Yeah, you know he really was. And they like they said they let some of the other guys kind of get in there yeah. and do some things. And um, second day they kind of got a little more serious. Yeah, well, yeah. the sorting got serious, <laughs> so right. therefore it's uh, kind of game on. <laughs> but a little bit about Lonesome Pine. They've been with us for years, um, and I have kind of watched Troy and Mackenzie grow up as kids and where they are now. And I believe Troy is now a sophomore in college. And he actually rode the Bronx this weekend, and he did a fine job. He did a really fine job. And I just have to plug that a little bit. It uh, it was pretty cool. Yeah, it's always nice to see a good family operation. This neat. This really is. Is You don't have a lot of uh, 
but you can't point to a lot of businesses that you can point to a lot of businesses. I'll take it back where the family is working there, but not where they seem to have started from the bottom and, and, and grew up. Oh, you literally. Know, with the it, you kid know? can, yeah. the kid can sling a rope. Yeah. And I mean, he, when he was 13, he was going on 40. Mm. Roping. I mean, That's he awesome. can, he can. Well, we think about Cut it. the mustard there. This, this, this ranch, Lonesome Pine, they got six on the card. They only competed with four uh, people in Colorado. And of those four, two of them were Bud's kids. Wow. Troy and Mackenzie. That's pretty and cool. Well, Travis, I mean, he is a kid, but. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> just kidding, Travis, if you're listening. <laughs> but old Mackenzie, I'm, do you know how old Mackenzie is, Casey? She is either a senior this year or. A junior, so I don't want to overstep, but yeah, and she pulled, she held her own big time. Pretty I mean, cool. she she well, wasn't, mounted. yeah, yeah, I she mean, did they, well, and she was uh, she she was a contributor they, to, the, to the ranch. They raise their own ponies, I and mean, they raise their own horses, and it's kind of a pretty good deal. Now I'm going to ask, uh, and this might be a uh, just an easy question for y'all or silly one, but uh, there is no male or female. Divisions, I guess, with working ranch. No, cowboys a cowboy. Cowboys a cowboy. She's got to be one of, one of the very few. I'm trying to like, as I'm saying this, oh, trying to think trying of. To be... No, I'm trying to think of another another sport, another where where uh, maybe NASCAR. You know where there isn't a a male female division. You know what I mean? Like you know, there's, oh, totally. You know, there's there's men's wrestling and women's wrestling. There's what? men's basketball and women's basketball. Well, I have uh, worked on ranches and they worked. On quite a few, and I have never been. As soon as you get in there, and uh, they're catching your horse in the morning, you are. No one is divided right. into your ability. Yeah, yeah. And so it is kind of the coolest. Uh, a truly of, equal opportunity. It is. Uh, it is. Uh, industry really. Yeah, we do not feel sorry for uh-uh. ourselves, and you get treated <laughs> just like anybody else. Yeah, yeah. That's and great. you get chewed on just like anybody yeah, else. Yeah. And it's uh if if you got the, I'll keep it clean. But if you've got the guts <laughs> to go in there, you will get treated equally. Yeah, yeah. It's all depending on your work ethic, and it's you know what a hand you can make. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Very very cool. Well, cool. We'll get uh, we'll get Bud up here on the phone and uh, and ask him how his experience was. All right. We'll talk to him and and find out how Colorado was. And on the phone, we have Bud Higgs from Lonesome Pine Ranch in Kansas. Bud, how you doing? Good this morning. Good. I got uh, uh, Lehman Wall and Casey Hooper in here with us uh, to talk a little bit. I, I hear there's congratulations in order for you. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. We got along good. Out of Hugo, Colorado. It was a uh, weekend for us. I thought you were congratulating me that I get to talk to Bud <laughs> this fine morning. Oh, oh, darn it, darn it, darn it. Yeah, one of the things that makes it good for us this morning is we've we've gotten some pretty good rains the last couple of days. Yeah. Things things look pretty good out here. Yeah. That country, and Lehman, you're going to head that direction here in a few. That country over there, our next rodeo at Council Grove, you'll see some of that green grass, and it's like fluorescent. Mm. Yeah. It's very yeah, beautiful I, uh, country where they live. Yeah, I bet. It's... It's phenomenal. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting yeah. up there. Bud, congratulations, man. Congratulations. Yeah, it was a pretty cool rodeo for us. One of our other team members wasn't able to make it. He had a, a wedding reception that he had to get to, and so my daughter filled in in his spot. And uh, so there were three of us pigs that competed over the weekend, and uh, that made it one of the more fun rodeos for me. Yeah, I, we all know how important family is to you, Bud, and that was one thing we wanted to talk about a little bit. Before you got on, we were telling Craig that you actually carry a, a six-man uh, card, but right. you brought four to Colorado, and of those four, it was you and uh, your, your, your two kids, Troy, McKenzie, and then Travis. So having three Higgs on that card, and walking away with that win, that just really had to be special. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Troy uh, doesn't normally he doesn't normally ride the Bronx for us, and so he got on his fourth and fifth Bronx this weekend, and uh, wasn't able to cover the first one. 
got, got kind of a nasty one. And then the second one was a little more rider friendly and he was able to cover him and, and, uh, help us, help us get the win. That first night in the bronc riding, I think I was as nervous as anybody to have Troy draw the horse he did. And it bucked out, bucked really hard, really oh, strong. Yeah. And it took the, some of his hack rein and then it went back to the right and hung there for a bit. And I thought, oh my gosh, well, it made a turn. And I was all, Troy, release, release. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You just will let go when you're bucked off. Uh-uh. You? And he has that <laughs> mentality. He's highly competitive. Both kids, Troy and McKenzie, are highly competitive athletes. And that, Troy in high school was very competitive in sports. And McKenzie is currently. So as you watch these yeah. kids grow up, you would see one at a rodeo with them. And then you'd see, you know, both kids or vice versa, and you'd always ask, "Where? Well, we had a baseball tournament, and <laughs> we had a basketball yeah. camp, and yeah. but that's how long Bud and Frank have had these kids on the card. They've always been yeah. exposed to this environment, and so it was a very kind of a cool moment for me because you watch them grow up, and then you see Troy put his toe in that stirrup for the bronc riding. I did. I kind of got a little flustered, but I will admit. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, I think there were several guys around there that have, you know, they've they've been around us long enough that they've uh, got a relationship, or we've got a relationship with most all those guys that were there. And uh, yeah, you can see where. Uh, well, if you listen to the video of the of the ride, you can hear guys back there cheering him on. Oh yeah, uh, absolutely. And then it was in the. Um, doctor and no in the Melkin McKenzie was on point mm-hmm. <laughs> and it athleticism and youth are an amazing yeah. addition to the equation <laughs> well and just try did you bring I mean, up she, that you brought up that youth factor yeah. didn't you I sure did yeah I was very <laughs> impressed to, to see McKenzie right in the middle of it I mean mm-hmm. it wasn't <laughs> that she w- was just you know, in there, she was actually putting try. She was contributing, and to have your two kids right there with you, Bud, I just, I, I know that was very special for you. And uh, I'm sure if your dad Frank would have been there, he'd he'd have been feeling the same way. Oh, he heard about. Oh it. yeah, he was probably called immediately <laughs> I bet after. He was. Oh yeah. The funny thing you you talk about tribe and grit. It's knowing because of experience with going with them. You know. That's just the right place at the right time and knowing what to do and what not to do. And yeah, the, the the experience factor is pretty big because uh, they've they've been around it from the time they were able to get on a horse and go. Mm-hmm. So absolutely. Uh, well, you had a fourth kid there named Travis Duncan, and I I mean, yeah. geez, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him I yeah. said that too. Yeah, well, he's a big kid. Yeah, he's a yeah he's a big kid. <laughs> but and that after, helps too. After Friday night, so everybody knows this was a two go rodeo. After Friday, you guys were setting fourth overall. There was a good right. bunch of, you know, ranches kind of right there, fairly close in in the points. But you you knew going into Saturday that you were kind of setting right there at fourth. You had you had it in your eyesights. But what did y'all talk about? Friday night or Saturday during the day, and and how did you kind of think things would be lined out for you as you went into Saturday night? Well, uh, I didn't realize exactly where we were at. I knew we had a shot at it, and we'd talked about just doing what we do and hoping everything fell into place for us. And uh, we knew there was, I think, three teams or maybe four that had times and everything Friday and had a chance at those bonus points. And those those had us worried because uh, with those bonus points, we thought we might not have. I mean, it would have probably kept us from having a shot at it because uh, those Saturday. would have been big. But go ahead, Bud. Sorry. With with that with that sorting the way it was, it eliminated all the bonus points for everybody. And then um, there was uh, well, the cattle were just tougher Saturday, and uh, so it made it a little. There, there was more pressure on everybody to try to get something done, and um, you, when you, when you come to Saturday and you know it's getting down to the wire, you go to pushing a little harder, and then things happen, and it just, uh, for us, it worked. Uh, Friday night we didn't have as good a run in the in the Brandon. We were a little long there, 
Uh, Saturday we were 42 seconds, I think it was, mm -hmm. quite a little better and placed a lot higher. So we got more points there. Everywhere else we were we were fairly solid. Uh, yeah, consistent. So, yeah, we were just fortunate enough that things fell into place for us and we were able to get a win. Consistency. Consistency is the name of the game. You got yeah. to try not to go out to win each and every event. But to be yep. in the hunt, and it and that rodeo in itself is no cakewalk, huh, bud? That rodeo's tough. No. Well, you look at the look at the lineup. There's uh, Sand Hills, Jolly Lord. There was what four? I think there was three or four uh, previous world champions in that in that lineup, and then there was several that had been to the finals. So, yeah, we knew going yeah. into the deal that. Yeah, it was going to be tough. And and out of the teams, you know, Beechner Brothers, for example, they yeah. you've got teams that have all been with the same team for a while. They're all right. veteran teams that were there. I mean, yep. take well, and there's another family deal there too. Yeah, with those exactly, Kindles. exactly. And you take yep. Jod; they've been in the. I mean, ever since I've been going, they've been there. And uh, yeah, so it was tough. It was real mm -hmm. tough. Well, and one of the things that I think back back about too is uh, my dad's always saying, "Well, you got to catch them. You got to catch them." And <laughs> you know how how many how many times did you see where that that just didn't happen for everybody? And so that gave us an opportunity to gain some ground where uh, teams maybe stubbed their toes, missed their missed their missed the loop here or there, and kind of opened the door for us. Well. Well, no wonder Troy ropes so dang stinking well. He's got Frank on his shoulder. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that boy's been pitching rope. I, I Earlier, before we talked to you, you can hear, the the listeners can hear about that. It was pretty cool. <laughs> Bud, we just want to tell you again, congratulations to you and the rest of the crew. And I look forward to seeing y'all in November at the World Championship. I appreciate it. We're looking forward to it. Thanks for all you guys do. Tell Frank I said hi. I'll let him know. Okay. Thanks, Bud. Appreciate it. Adios. Mm -hmm. uh, and and Bud, we didn't we didn't mention it on the air, but Bud is actually they've already been there, done that. They they won back in 2015. They're world champions. Yeah, won the whole the whole the whole prize. They won the the uh, the Super Bowl of yes. of of it all, the World Series of it all, the yes, they championship. Did. So uh, looking for another this year, I guess. Right. And Lehman, you got some of the uh, individual results. Yeah, like we do every every rodeo, there's multiple awards to kind of talk about. And let, let's just real quick run through our event winners. Uh, we had Garrett Manis from Crestone Ranches won the bronc riding. Beechner Brothers Livestock was the first place in the team branding. Schneider Ranch and Wolf Oak Ranch took home wild cow milking. And Lonesome Pine Ranch won the doctoring and the sorting. Uh, we also had our AQHA top horse was ridden by Cody Kendall at Beechner, Beechner Brothers Livestock. Really, really nice gray horse. Little T.J. Paul is the registered name of that horse. It's owned by his parents, Calvin and Gina. And then top hand was Chris Lockamer out of 4-3 FX Bar up in Wyoming and Nebraska. And so really appreciate AQHA sponsoring the top horse. And uh, Wrangler sponsoring our top hand award. I think it's worthy of taking a little bit of time and diving into this some more. You know, we, we come together every week and we, we kind of talk about all the results and mm -hmm. we kind of skim over it. You guys that have not had an opportunity to go to one of our sanctioned rodeos, and God bless you if you hadn't had a chance to come to the world championships, because I'm telling you, you're missing out. Yeah, yeah. Y y these people, these ladies and men that come loaded horseback, they are some of the best. Athletes, number one, Casey. Mm -hmm. I mean, true athletic talent. Yeah. But then the horses they ride, it's just mind-boggling yeah. the talent you yeah. compile into the into that scene at one time. Casey, it's phenomenal. Yeah. Well, that's their workable tool. And you have to be able to be the one in charge of that yeah. tool. Yeah. But oh, like yeah. on Cody's horse, it's automatic. But right. it takes a hand to yeah. be able to make that horse look good. You don't succeed with without the right tools. Well, you if know? you go so, back and you go back years, Calvin rode that horse, mm -hmm. and as Cody progressed in age and savvy and became the hand he was or is, then he was awarded that horse. Right. 
And this isn't the first time that Juice received Topped Horse honors. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So, but I, but we were talking a little bit about the backside. Cody Kindle and and Caden Kindle are scholarship recipients. Oh, cool. And they've been with Neat. us. Cody just graduated from Panhandle State University in May, and Caden carries a 4.0 at Kansas State. And so we should have, we should have asked him about that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, both of them carried a 4.0. Oh, that's pretty neat. Yeah, that's but great. they are pretty serious, yeah. and they're a very humbling family, yeah. and they're great to talk to. That's yeah, cool. it's just pretty awesome to sit there on the sideline, and I find myself just watching. I mean, I love good horses, but yeah. you, you see a bunch ride in, and you're watching them in the sorting, or you're watching them in the doctrine, or you're watching you know, Brandon, and I, I'm just amazed at the horse flesh that these yeah. folks get to ride. And, and then we talk about Chris Lockamer being our top hand. I mean, the skill set that these folks have when they come in the pen, mm -hmm. it is so fun to watch them excel at what they do. And how cool is it to get to be a part of this whole deal? You talk about Bud, he's got his kids there with him. But the pride they have in the work they do, uh, they're not there showing off. They're just doing what they're doing. Yeah. And they're so good at it. Yeah. It's impressive. I have to brag a little bit on Taylor Waite. Taylor Waite won the Wrangler class for the RHAA during the ranch horse competition. This is a kid that worked extremely hard. Her husband, Chance Waite, actually helped her. But practice, that whole thing of practicing and being mounted and having the ability and the grit to go out there. You knew she was kind of nervous because to go to that and compete in front of those kind of peers is tough. And she ended up walking away with the Wrangler class win. That is stuff you can't make yeah. up. Yeah, ESPN 30 on 30 has nothing on us. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you. They got a story for a story that if you don't That's cry right. or take a deep seat, there's yeah. something wrong with you. That's right. Uh, now it's time. Get those tickets. Uh, Lehman mentioned the World Championships, and you don't want to miss them. They're coming up November 8th through the 11th, and uh, lots of stuff going on always with all that. But the tickets are, are the main part. We almost throw this out there almost as a public service announcement, as a as a... Don't don't wait till October and think they're going to be there still. Oh, those tickets are gone. Yeah. This is our public service announcement that if you really want to go, you need to pick up those tickets today. Get them because they. And it sounds ridiculous, you know. Well, it's June, you know. I can get tickets. Come on, I can at least get them in September, right? No, probably not. So right. <laughs> yeah, you need need to get them. And we always say you go to PanhandleTickets.com. Yes. Don't Google Panhandle tickets or, or don't Google World Championship Ranch right, Radio. That's right. Go to our website, wrca.org, or go to panhandletickets.com if you need to buy them online. Uh, you can also walk up to the ticket office if you're local, or you can call them on the phone. But get those tickets. And then, Casey, the other thing that's really important if you're coming from out of town is to get your hotel rooms booked. And uh, we would tell you we have negotiated the best rates with the best hotels in Amarillo. And so don't call them direct. You're not going to get those rates if you do that. Right. Go to WRCA.org and go to our hotel booking service. And you've got the best hotel options with the best rates right there. That's where you need to get your hotels. Absolutely. And, and Craig, I have a little side note on my trivia stuff. And, and Hugo did an amazing job. Their committee always does an amazing job. But the band that night, they always do awards and then do a boot scooting after. The name of the band, Craig, was called Loose Nuts. The Loose Nuts. <laughs> now, I'll let you go with whatever you want with that. I'm going to leave that alone, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Family friendly <laughs> entertainment, ladies but. and gentlemen. All right. Well, next week we'll talk, uh, we'll talk some more. We'll talk about maybe some of the foundation stuff again. And uh, it's always fun to touch on the, the foundation part of the WRCA on these, these off weeks of the rodeo. And, uh, and uh, dig into more of what the WRCA does for people. It's always good to talk to you too, and 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 you're full of surprises every week. You should hear the conversations off Who's the air. <laughs> Tur turkey call? No turkey call this week. Did you bring it? Did you bring? <laughs> <laughs> Cracks me it's up like, every time. It's like I need lyrics. And now the end. <laughs> I appreciate you guys. We got the turkey trot. Yeah. <laughs>